Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another uh, random talk video. That's what I'm going to call them. I just decided just now I'm going to call this a random talk video. Uh, normally, I ramble in these videos, and I'm going to try to keep that to a minimum because this one has a purpose. Uh, a question I get asked semi a lot is, what do I do to prepare for doing a game? And I get asked this by people, I guess, who want to uh, know the best way to prepare for one, to, to seem prepared, I guess. Because really there is uh, a difference between being prepared and not being prepared. You can usually tell what someone has uh, got an agenda on their mind as to what they're doing in that game. As opposed to, let's go do this now! And then they meander for, you know, for a couple of minutes. Um, which I, I know I'm pretty bad about meandering, but that's because I forget what I'm doing a lot. <sighs> my brain, there's like, like, the gears in my brain are missing spokes, okay? So just uh, bear with me on that. And I'm on the wrong page. Uh, so let's go open this file. Now, what I do to prepare for games is, originally, I didn't do anything at all. Because I was, well, playing games that I knew well enough to basically fake my way through. I knew like for Earthbound as an example I know that game like the back of my hand partly because I've beaten it so many times partly because I literally uh, put the player's guide to memory. I read that so I read my player's guide for that game so many times that it fell apart. Okay? And then I put it in a three ring binder and kept reading it. And I have it put up in my closet. It's it's actually a really good read. You should read it. It's just for fun. It's one of the best players' guide I've ever seen put together. It's uh it's it's actually fun to read on its own without playing the game. Anyway, now uh nowadays I'm doing games that I've uh pretty much only beat once, like Parasite Eve two. I've only beaten that game uh you know three times now. I beat it once back when I originally bought it. I beat it once in practice, and then I beat it once in f actually recording. So, you know, uh, as to not look stupid, I actually went and did a little practice run for that game. Because, you know, it's, it's really short. It's not very long at all. Uh, but another thing that I do is I'll actually take... Uh, usually I, I kind of budget my time for about a week because I have lots of time where I can't like especially in the wee hours of the morning and stuff where I'll wake up early some days and I'll, I'll be sitting here you know and I could you know don't have enough time to really watch a movie or you know sit down and watch a television show but I'll have 30 minutes here so you know I'll take it and I'll budget my time and I'll go look on the internet and I'll for a game that I want to play and I'll take and I'll look as many different places as I can and I'll sit there and I'll I'll look on game FAQs I'll look on the message boards for game FAQs and despite all the uh, the uh, well, I guess the word is asshats despite all the very unsavory people on game, the FAQ, game FAQs boards there's a lot of really good information on there uh, Especially stuff that you might not find in walkthroughs. Especially for older games, where nowadays people are hacking the games just for fun to see what the code looks like. And, you know, th they'll find things out that you they didn't know or had no way of finding out when they wrote the original walkthroughs, especially for older games. Um, I'll look and see if the game has an RPG shrine, if it's an RPG. Uh, other websites, if there's a wiki for the game, different forum topics, random Google searches. I'll, I'll look up as much information as I can for a game. And I do this so I can cherry pick what I like. Now, for example, this one for this RPG might have a really good bestiary, but the rest of the the rest of it is really, really bad. This one might have good weapon lists and item lists or this one might have good steal lists you know what you could steal from monsters and things like that you know so I'll, I'll take all that information compile it uh, 
find the best actual walkthrough I can, like which one I like is formatted the best, uh, and stuff like that. And I'll take it and I'll throw it all in one file. Make kind of a Franken walkthrough. And then uh, I'll take and I'll use that to beat the game in my practice run. Well, as I play the game, I change it. I'll take things that I find superfluous out. Uh, I'll ta I'll add things that I that I think should have been in there. You know, uh, like monster weaknesses or uh, specifically for Wild Arms Two boss weaknesses. The the uh, the walkthrough I used as the base. It was definitely the best written one, most descriptive. But the guy really did not. Add, he really, 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 really glossed over elemental weaknesses. Now, for Wild Arms Two, I find the elemental weaknesses is kind of they're not necessarily as useful in the random encounters. But during the boss battles, they're a great way to do some massive damage. Uh, I mean, you know. It, I didn't really like his, uh, for example, I didn't, in that same walkthrough, I didn't really like his boss strategies. So what I would do is I'd go through the game, I'd beat the boss, see what the boss did, and then I'd reload and then try to do a better strategy, you know. And that's what I do. And I'll sit there and I'll tweak it. Uh, but I really only, by doing it this way, I, I have nice external information that I can tweak to my standards, to the way I want it, specifically for me. Uh, and really that allows me, it takes a lot of the legwork out of the game, and it allows me to uh, really only, to get by, I guess kind of game the system and get by with only doing one practice run. But yeah, my Franken walkthrough uh, technique is, is how I do it. And what I'll do is I'll, like I said, I'll I'll take it uh, out superflu superfluous comments. In case you don't know what that means, uh, stuff that really add no value to the walkthrough. Uh, I might reword some things, and then I'll, uh, if I don't like the way he uh, pr the strategy he presents in the boss fight, I'll uh, actually put in my own strategy, reword it, you know. Uh, things like that. I might add a list of what the boss can do attack-wise. You know, just a short little the boss. This is the attacks the boss do. If like if it adds paralysis, I'll say adds paralysis. You know, things like that. Uh, it, it's a process of slowly evolving a walkthrough over the course of a of a playthrough. And. I've gotten to the point where I, I've actually started doing it for games that I don't intend to LP or uh, maybe not intend to LP now. For example, uh, Lunar, I never intended to LP. I put it up on there because I had actually made one of these uh, for me. I mean, I made one uh, to play the game. And, and I did it as an experiment to see how fast, see if I could do it and get it done faster because uh, I had done two or three before that. Like I did one for Parasite Eve 2 <clears throat> and I did one for Persona 1 and well I did one for Persona 1. I've, I've only done one uh, for the uh, Sabok route. I haven't done the Snow Queen quest yet, so I have to actually do the Snow Queen quest before I can put it up. So don't ask me to to do that. Uh, you know, and I so I have a finished one for Lunar, and I did that one as kind of practice to see if I could you know kind of reduce the time it takes me to do it in. And I, I've got to a point where it doesn't really take me a whole lot of time. I could do the whole thing in about a week, get it up, and then beat the game and have it uh, refined by then. Of course, I will never post these. I will never hand them out because it is literally like 90% plagiarism on my part. And, you know, I'm not going to apologize for that because I'm not, you know passing this work off as mine. It's I get it from d several many sources, uh, as many sources as I can. 
make it as wide a thing as I can. Oh, just in case you're wondering, that's actually, uh, this picture right here is actually the border that's around each of the little, uh, pictures in my table of contents and this right here is actually the picture that makes up my table of contents you can see it down there uh, and if you can actually count you can actually see that there's one two three four games on there that are not on the table of contents now ooh well no, actually five one two three four yeah because that one's Parasite Eve 2 that one's Warcraft 3 that one's Wild Arms 2 and then the last three it's a secret to everyone but me because I know Uh, da -da -da. Oh, shoot. Can't really think of anything else to say. Uh, just to give you an example here. Let's see. Let me open this up. This is actually a, for an example, something I took from a, another walkthrough. Uh, my Wild Arm, my Soccer Frontier 2 one is not done. I have all the information that I want. I just haven't put it together in a, in, in a way that I haven't put together in one document. I, I need to do that, but uh, I was going to do that if Saga Frontier 2 won, and I've been kind of putting it off, and so, uh, especially since Wild Arms 2 won. Because Wild Arm, my Wild Arms 2 freaking walkthrough was in pieces like this one is, and I was like, okay, well, let me put this one together. But this right here is an example. Like I really, there was a walkthrough in there. It had a chronological list of events. It had all the the events listed chronologically in the game, uh, and I was like, "Wow, that's that's really good." And I got to looking, and if you do them chronologically, you can actually uh, you won't actually miss any events. I was like, "That is amazing." So I'm gonna do it in that order when I LP the game. So you know, that's an, an example and. Of you know, the kind of information I will take out, you know, uh, other examples for Soccer Frontier 2. I have like uh, spark lists of uh, what ability sparks what ability. I have spark lists for what sequence in dual battle sparks what. I have uh, lists of monsters that are really good to spark with. You know, all kinds of information. And um, I actually put more effort into putting the FAQs together than I do practicing the games. So, uh, yeah. That was actually pretty apparent, I think, when in Parasite Eve 2. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much how I prepare. Eh. Let's see. And, and here are some player's guides uh, for some games that I've bought. They're, uh, they're PDFs. They're not, like, I have a player's guide in there for uh, that, I, that I paid for. I paid for an online player's guide of... Uh, Lunar Silver Star Harmony? Yeah, is it Harmony? I don't know. There's so many remakes of that game, I, I can't keep them straight. I think Harmony is the PSP one. So, yeah, that's uh, basically... It, I keep the player's guide in there. Uh, I've really only got one file in there, uh, and that's Lunar Silver Star Harmony. And I, I keep it in here because, you know, here's all my other walkthroughs. And the rest of it, I have a work in progress folder that's like on my desktop. That that's where the rest of my information is. I would show it to you, but uh, I, I've got some stuff on my desktop that I don't want you to see. Uh, so yeah. Ooh, it's a secret. It's secretive, secretive. Well, anyway, uh, I guess that's a pretty good place to stop. Uh, so yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, these games right here. Can you guess what any of them are? Yeah. See. Well, um, some of them are obvious, I think. That's the Saga Frontier redo. I haven't actually uh, done any of this. That's Wild Arms 2, obviously. Let's see. That's Saga Frontier 2. Yeah, see, that's... I actually need to clean this up a little bit more. Because uh, I kept the uh, the search, the control F search in my Wild Arms 2 uh, notes. And I've actually, 
Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Delete. Why am I why am I doing this on, on while I'm recording? I don't know. Well I actually I kept uh, the 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 whatchamacallit and it, it usually at the end I'll add some more so I can get to other parts of the, the walkthrough that I added. I didn't do that though for th this time. I just kept the one that was in there and then just tacked my stuff on the end, which is kind of weird because normally I don't do that. Huh. Well, I guess I kind of kind of got lazy at the end there. Uh, well, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, just to let you know, we have. Hold on. Oh look, it's my channel. Yeah, we have three more videos for uh, Breath of Fire 3, and then Wild Arms 2 will start, just to let you know that. And uh, Warcraft 3 will continue on, as always. Uh, doing a pretty good pace there. We're about halfway through the human campaign current. Well, no. We're two-thirds of the way through the human campaign currently. So, anyway, this is a good place to stop. I'll see you next time. Abrupt ending for the wind.